Hey Taurus, welcome to your new moon in Scorpio. This one takes place for you in a house that is not so comfortable, the eighth house. Here's why it's not comfortable. You are an earth sign and you like things that you can feel and you like things that you can taste and you like things that you can hold. You experience things through the senses. Scorpio, the water sign, is not afraid to drown in the depths. And so the eighth house is a place where you don't have any type of security. You don't have any type of feeling because there's nothing to hold on to. The eighth house is death, regeneration, rebirth, transformation, but different than your house, different than the second house, which is solid ground, which is earned income, which is what you accumulated by yourself, and so it's secure. The eighth house is opposite of secure. The eighth house is ground that is always falling under you. The gift of the eighth house is transformation. You become something different as a result of having been there, but it's no picnic. Nobody who visits the eighth house would encourage you to come because it's a good time. It's not like that. But what you have right now is the opportunity for transformation. And what this new moon is asking you to do is select a partner who will help you in your transformation. Back in October, we were asked to have a look at ourselves and who we are and where we're going in our life. What do you want your life to be about? How do you want people to know you? Like, what are you about, honestly? What is your life about? Who's in it? Who speaks for you? Who represents you? All of these things. What are you about? Then we were asked to see what was clear and what was not clear and choose clarity because you can't build anything, a future, you can't build anything if it isn't clear. And then eliminate what is not clear. And now you're being asked to select partners who will help you get where you are going. In your case, it has to do with your transformation. You have the characteristics that you have. So when you are looking at who can help you become more of who you are, the place to look are the people who have characteristics opposite of you. The way the nakshatra describes it is a harvest. And the way that the harvest occurs is because you have sun, and rain. These are entirely different elements, but without these entirely different elements, these complete opposite elements, the harvest wouldn't be possible. So in your transformation, in your growth, in achieving what you want to achieve, you've come as far as you can come on your own. And now this new moon is asking you to select a partner who is what you need, who possesses the elements that you don't already possess. Now the interesting part, is the nakshatra also asks you to defy convention. The partnership doesn't have to look a certain way. How many followers you have, how much stuff you have, how, like none of that matters. What matters is that it's a complement for what you need. What matters is that this partnership enhances your growth and your development. That's the only thing it does. That you're working toward a common goal with a person and you both have a love for what you're trying to achieve. So. Have a look at who's around you. If they're helping you move in the right direction, they stay. If they're not helping you move in the right direction, um, why are they there? You're a Taurus, you achieve, you know what this is about. You work on your job, you work on your body, you work on your nutrition, you work on everything. Your house looks a certain way, you know what it's like to work. If someone's going to help you, they need to know what it's like to work too, that you do need in common. So you wanna partner with somebody who is going to help you you have a mutually beneficial goal and somebody who's going to help you get where you're going.